guys Hello. welcome back so today um we are going to be filming a come drive with us um it's sunday morning how Wasn't, cold is it it's freezing, freezing today it's literally three degrees right now it's absolutely freezing so we're gonna go for a uh, drive through we're gonna go to starbucks get ourselves a nice coffee cause... is there starbucks drive through well, there's no drive through but we're going to have to go to Starbucks and get a coffee for like sure. Like no Yeah, actually it's not. <laughs> and it's so cold and it's freezing. And i never done a drive through with me before. And I thought I'd get a new guest, which is Adil, of course. It's going to be really fun. I've asked you guys to send in some questions, assumptions on Instagram. So, Adil... But they were interesting. They were. There was a few interesting ones, I'm not going to lie. So, you're going to have control of my phone, go through the questions, and all of that good stuff. What do you do? So, we're like just going to drive, drive, chill, put a uh, tunes on answer some questions and just be like really chilled you know just basically what me and you do in the car why did this always happen when i put deodorant on just a tiny sweating, li i'm not sweating are you, are you sweating in this car three like degrees otherwise am i not sweating on this one it is there though you know this baby i never smell what <laughs> It's okay. okay. Indian style. <laughs> if anyone was next to us, like in traffic, looking at our camera, they'd be like, What the hell are these? What are, are these people doing? So. Kaka G, there's no bus on Sunday. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, traffic lights. Pay attention to the road, missus. I am right. This is basically me. When I like, when I'm talking to someone in the car, I can get so distracted and I'll, I'll just go to like a different location, a different place. That's not good, is it, darling? Everything's so pretty here, like every, on this street, everything's so autumnal, the trees are beautiful, yeah, it's, it's red, orange, everything that you want in autumn, the true, the true meaning of autumn, it's just in this street here, it's gorgeous. This is Amina's tune. This is remixes. Oh, is it? I think so. Tiesta remix. good. Oh my, oh my god, this tune was my jam back in the day. <laughs> the expressions on her face, fab. Then she gets into the zone. Uh, let's do the high note. Remember we sang it last time, we went in. It's so hard for me to breathe. I got three million cash, you call me money, red man. I love the streets are so empty. I love driving now. But I didn't. Question Honestly, who really wears the trousers in your marriage? Ah, that's, a, that's a deep one for the, fir for the first question. That's, a, that's deep. Well, with us, there's no trousers. There's it's no. In between. Yeah, we are. We deep do everything 50 50. So that's one thing we learned in our marriage. I know we're, we're not just saying it for the sake of it. Yeah, actually, it's it actually is. It's 50 50. There's so no trousers. There's no. No one wears the trousers. In the I, don't, I don't actually believe in that trousers. Shit. Yeah, like why? Like, no, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like, if you're unmarried, it should be 50, it should 50, be 50, 50, 50 no matter what you do. Like, so, so. to answer your question, nobody wears the trousers, just no. in between. Sometimes, like, obviously, like, it's my way, sometimes it's idol's way, so yeah, it's equal. Yeah, right. the popo, too. Yeah, fuck the popo. Yeah, but he's in, he's in the way, popo's in the way, yeah, mate. Wait. mate, I want to get my Starbucks. Wait, wait, car's coming that side. Yo, popo, mate. Just Ooh. chilling, having a combo, mate. Nah, bruv. Did you give it evil to the pop -up? Yeah. Okay, guys, I think we're going to leave it here for a minute because we're right outside Starbucks. We're going to get ourselves a drink and then we'll be right back. We're going to eat. We'll get a pastry or something. Okay, so we are back Hello. in the car. Fueled and ready. Fueled and ready to get cooking. I got my finger. He opened the door so hard and he hit his finger. Anyways. Will someone um, lock me outside? We're off to Foss Park and it's Foss Park in Leicester and it's like 
This is not an ad. I don't know why I was talking like that. <laughs> Great. <laughs> kind of wish it was. Well, what's your softy post cock now? What? Okay. What's your top three romantic ga gateway for couple? I think the person getaway. meant. What's your top three getaways for a romantic couple? Um, the Maldives. I Still say. Yet to go. I say Dubai is nice. Dubai is romantic as well. Very romantic. Um, Italy. And Paris. I think the Maldives. Maldives? I'm still waiting for you to take me to the Maldives. Maybe book your tickets to Maldives. This lady's looking at me in her mirror. I'm dancing. Baby, you're the best friend. I'm running around the kitchen. I'm rolling my body down in the rain and I wish it. Okay. Let's get into the mode. Um, someone said share an untold embarrassing story to each other. <gasps> okay. <laughs> I do remember one. I what? don't know what you're thinking about, what you're what, laughing what? about. But what? for me, when me and Adil were like, I guess you could say, seeing each other, let's say. And uh, you know when you're both like, both like really nervous and like, you obviously want to make an effort and stuff like that. So that day I was wearing heels and we went to, I think it was River Island, it was a top shop, I'm not too sure. And then um, I think it was uh, River Island and we were walking down the stairs and I slipped. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, ah, did you help me? How are you like, are you okay, are you okay? And I was like, oh my God, why did I decide to wear heels going down a bloody, um, really steep staircase? So yeah. <laughs> That was amazing. Oh, God. So that happened. Uh, well, what, what about you? What do you it's think? It's hard. I don't know. It's hard. Come on. There must be some like embarrassing moments. We have a lot. I think there was once where we were laughing so much and then I ended up farting because I laughed so much. Uh, anyway, let me go. Thanks. Thanks, sweets. Yeah, so I laughed so much and you know how like you just end up fucking farting. <laughs> you could. Oh my god! Oh, it just came out. It just was that? Came out. In, I don't remember. Is that yeah. like in marriage or was that like no, when you seen each other? No, it was a new in the early stage of the marriage. Oh my god! And that was like the first time I farted in front of you. <gasps> and she, she couldn't stop. But she. I Laughing. Okay, I think I remember this actually because I was like laughing at him. I was like, I do. And he was trying to brush off like it was normal. Like, oh, it's okay. I was like Everyone trying to farts. cover it. No, I was trying to cover it like pretend he didn't hear it. Yeah. No, but then when I did hear it, I was like, I do. You're like, oh, it's okay. Everyone falls trying to brush off, but you were like so embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, I do remember that actually. That, so, yeah, that was really that, funny. That was, the, that was the most embarrassing one for me. Oh, why did we come first park? You just said come first park. For what? I do. What the hell is wrong with you? Why did, no, why did we go first park? Seriously. Oh my god. You just said drive to first park, so I drove to first park. Oh. Did I say first park? He's getting really old, oh my god. Yes. Okay, guys, so we're back in the car, back for another round. As you can see from behind, we were nipped into Primark because we were in first park, and first park literally has the best Primark. And by the way, Adol just decided to drive because he wanted to drive for a little bit because he likes driving. He actually I just likes. I like my uh, driving my own around. I don't like. He has that pride in it. You have that pride where you like, I it's like just to a man thing. My... Oh really? Yeah. How, okay, the next question is how do you solve um, arguments? Um, I feel like we touched on this briefly before in a previous um, Q&A. Is we have come to this like conclusion that now we do this new thing where we like, if we argue, if we feel like we're in the wrong, we say sorry first. And, then, yeah. and I feel like that's helped kind of us get over the arguments a lot quicker. Because before when we used to argue, we, like, we used to like just kind of go our separate ways in a sense like, you know, we just didn't speak for a good couple of hours. But now, like if anyone was in the wrong, they'll just say sorry first. And honestly, it works so much easier now. So if you and your partner argue, it's, just, it's not like whoever's in the wrong, just both of you say sorry. No, like so. whoever's in the wrong, they'll say sorry, in it, And then they'll just kind of get over and done with. But every so. argument, they're both of them in the wrong. So. so. Someone just say sorry straight away as after the argument's finished. Just say, okay, you know what, I'm sorry. You know, let's just leave it behind us, and that's it. And then move on. So that's a really good way of getting over an argument, and that's helped us a lot. So.
Okay guys, so this is the end of the video. I hope. really hope you guys enjoyed driving with us. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was fun, wasn't it? It was fun. Just kind of, this is how we are. Like this is how we are on the car. I hope you guys enjoyed it and we better go because the camera is flashing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you give us a massive thumbs up. And if you want to see another one, let me know down below. And I love you all so, so much. Peace. Bye.